We, the Alliance for State Action to End Gender-Based Violence, call upon the government of Trinidad and Tobago to immediately respond to the national crisis of gender-based violence with direct action and accountability. Civil society organizations in Trinidad and Tobago have been working for decades to end gender-based violence. We've joined forces with renewed calls upon the state. Members of our alliance met with the police commissioner on the 13th of January, made specific demands to make immediate and necessary changes to their protocols and procedures, offered recommendations for the newly established GBV unit, which is out here today with us. We organized an auction on the 25th of January, Orange Day, at Woodford Square. We shared our demands, and we presented six demands to the government. In the past few weeks, we have gathered over 1,700 signatures on the petition, which was hand-delivered to the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago on the 26th of February, 2020. And we submitted electronic copies to the Ministers of Social Development, National Security, and the Attorney General. We now share these demands with you and some of the updates. Demand number one. Increase effectiveness, accountability, and transparency of the state. To, to achieve this, we recommend the establishment of monitoring and evaluation mechanisms based on data collection, analysis, and dissemination protocols, and within responsible state agency, such as the police service, courts, and social services. Demand number two, ensure sufficient financial and organizational support and resources for national support systems that provides services to survivors and victims, including the shelters, victim and witness support unit, gender and child affairs division, the emergency hotline 800-SAVE, and the newly established TTPS Gender-Based Violence Unit. Demand number three, amend the Domestic Violence Act to ensure non-discriminatory, timely, and effective access to protection, safety, and justice, and to include the 10 recommendations of the Equal Opportunity Commission. Since we deliver this petition, we have received the draft copy of amendments to the Domestic Violence Act from the Attorney General and have been invited to submit comments, which we are in the process of reviewing and doing. Demand number four, establish a social fund as a national budgetary priority to support NGO-led shelters and civil society members providing services to persons affected by gender-based violence. Demand number five, create a multi-stakeholder coordination mechanism that includes civil society, academic institutions, and ministries working together to end gender-based violence. This committee will advise governments on the adoption, resourcing, implementation, and monitoring of the national strategy against gender-based and sexual violence and the national policy on gender and development. Demand number six, invest in social re reformation programs to facilitate cultural change by embedding and teaching nonviolent communication approaches and methodologies in school curricula, social service provision, and public education campaigns. Thank you. The organizations that have supported these demands are the Coalition Against Domestic Violence, Arts in Action, Caribbean Association for Feminist Research and Action for Trinidad and Tobago, CAISO Sex and Gender Justice, CEDAW Committee of Trinidad and Tobago, the Catholic Commission for Social Justice, Conflict Women, Family Planning Association of Trinidad and Tobago, the Institute for Gender and Development Studies at UWE, the National Union of Domestic Employees, NUD, the Network of NGOs for the Advancement of Women, the Organization for Abused and Battered Individuals, People Against Domestic Violence, the Shelter for Battered Women and Children, Trinidad and Tobago Union of Ganja Farmers, Women's Caucus of Trinidad and Tobago, 
Women's Institute for Alternatives in Development, WINAD, Women of Substance from Tobago, Women are Working for Social Progress, and Womantra. So while today is a day of celebration, we would like to take this time to honor the women and girls who have lost their life to gender-based violence this year. Um, I would invite everybody to let's start a moment of silence and I will call their names. After I call one name, please say, we remember you. And then a minute of silence. Gabriella Dubari. We remember you. Giselle Philip Fonillier. We remember you. Polly Ann Chunen Singh. We remember you. Nai Singh. Jenny Granado. We remember you. Makisha Maynard. We remember you. Rachel Logan. We remember you. Nicole Hackshaw. We remember you. Anne Marie Sipasad. We remember you. Thank you, everyone. The Alliance for State Action to End Gender-Based Violence. Can we get another round of applause, please, for all the ladies representing the organizations who have been pushing vehemently and shared the demands with us.